In 2022, in the fan polls, Devon was an underdog against Levan. But as the match approached closer, the fans started having more faith and more trust in Devon's abilities to win that super match. And towards the end, he even became a fan favorite in the polls. But this time, it's the exact opposite. Devon started off as a huge favorite to win this match, but right now it's very close. And if we look at the recent Angie Terzi podcast with Dennis and Devon, link will be in the description. In that podcast, Dennis even got more votes from the fans. What caused this change of perception in the arm wrestling fans? I don't know for sure, but it's a good thing. It means more hype around the match and more pay-per-view sales, everything more. So really cool thing. I'll say this podcast kind of became disappointing towards the end. I'll let you know why, but let's start off with what Devon said. So Devon asked the health and well-being of Dennis Siplankov's family. He didn't answer initially, but when Devon asked again, he said that yes, his mother, father, brother, sister, everyone is fine. Thank you for asking. But my conspiracy theory mind, as Neil Bigger would like to call it, is thinking that maybe Devon watched that podcast where Dennis was talking about thinking about having a family, having a wife, having a kids. He doesn't have them right now. Maybe Devon wanted to kind of irritate the discipline cover, make him mad by trying to ask that. That's just a conspiracy theory that I have in my mind. So Babkan plus Dennis, the relationship. Devon basically tried to crack gay jokes about Babkan and Dennis for almost an hour, at least an hour, I'll say. And that kind of ruined the overall quality of the podcast. I was expecting it to be one of the biggest arm wrestling podcasts ever, which it can still be. But that was not what we wanted to hear. Initially, it was real fun. Everyone was enjoying it. Even Engin Terzi was just looking at his phone, reading the chat because the chat was lit. It was awesome. Engin was also having fun and letting those guys talk and deal with each other. But the most, but most of the podcast was between Devon and Babken and not Devon and Dennis and not Engin asking them good questions like he always does because he also didn't get enough time because of Devon's gay jokes. So that was the reason. And there were some translation errors as well because Bob Ken at one point was saying that I'm going to hold your hand or Dennis is going to hold your hand at the pillow pin pad. And I think Devon was intentionally creating those confusions about translation. So he was like, what did you say? You're going to hold my head against a pillow. <laughs> so, so those were the confusions. Devon asked Dennis Siplenkov if he tried everything against John or was he just playing with John Brzezink and made the match look closer than what it was. Dennis did not answer this question. In fact, he didn't even seem interested in the interview. He was looking at his phone throughout the time. He was just letting Babkin speak. He didn't probably he spoke like five, six, maybe 10 sentences throughout the almost a couple of hours long podcast. And he even told everyone, he even told Engin and everyone that he's not interested in this talk. That's not what he wants to do. Of course, Engin must, have, must not have liked that. He even asked, okay, then ask Dennis, what would he like to talk about? What does he like to talk about? Even to that question, Dennis basically didn't answer anything. So totally not interested. Maybe that's why Devon was Devon was engaging with Babkin with the gay jokes. Maybe that was the reason. So in polls, Engin also mentioned this. Dennis was the favorite. Dennis is currently 128 kilos and Devon around 116, 117. He said that he's even today he's in within striking distance of the 105 kg class. Wow. So basically, Devon is saying that on the same day, he can beat Denis Siplenkov or you can match him up against Kidragali Ongarbayev and he can beat both. Of course, not back to back, but that's what it basically means. And that's insane. A guy who can compete in 105 kg class is going to beat Denis Siplenkov around the same time, around the same weight. That's, that's simply insane. Truly, truly unbelievable story. So Dennis said that Babkin was by my side. He supported me. He was at the hospital talking with the doctors, nurses, everything when he got sick. So he's a good friend and he wants him to be by his side. <laughs> Will you let Devon win the last round? This was a super chat question. Once again, Dennis Siplenkov kind of dodged the question. He didn't really answer that. And about the comparison of his current shape with prime shape, once again, he kind of gave a uh, answer that is difficult to understand he basically said that i cannot tell you because i'm not doing the same workouts anymore on the table i'm getting good but of course i'm not lifting the same weights that i was lifting before that and devon talked about the left-handed match then babkin said that yes we are willing to give you a left-handed match but dennis needs to heal up his 
shoulder needs to get healed up and by the way the vital cell biologics guy he is going to east versus west and he'll be dealing with engin and Dennis Plinkov as well maybe they are also going to get some stem cell treatments so that was basically the summary of the of the event of the podcast not really up to the mark that i would have expected it to be it should have been better because even the chat was saying that please hang in tell babkin to shut up please hang in tell devon to change the topic it's enough of it but for sure there are many people who enjoyed the entirety of it i also enjoyed some some parts of it thanks for watching like the video and subscribe and purchase the pay per view link in the description